Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Let's continue through the item world here. We are on the second floor of the Imperial Seal here, and I am looking for an exit. So, let's see. Ah, there you go. Okay, so, in order to get through a floor of the item world, uh, all you have to do is get to that exit panel. You do not have to kill all the enemies. I only did that last time because I wanted to... Uh, get all that bonus loot so that way I could get a lot of money and experience. So, let's see. How many will I need? One, two, three. I think I ought to do. Now, one of the reasons why I created all these rogues, not just to kill them, but they also make very good throwing fodder because uh, rogues can throw up to a range of six, unlike any other job class in the game. So... Let's get a whole bunch of these guys lined up here, and get my brawler going there. So yeah, you could just line up a whole bunch of rogues, and then create a massive throwing chain there. So let's see, is that where I want to go? I think that's where I want it to go. Yes, okay. So now we do that, and that. Now you can either just kill the gatekeeper, or... Oh. I'm on a silence geo panel. Okay, um, can I just kill the guy? I can give it a try. Hooda man! man! Okay, that didn't work too well. Well, that's what I get for not paying attention. Okay, well, they're probably gonna kill some of my rogues, but whatever, I don't really care. Well, I've never seen that one before. What are you... Is that supposed to hurt me? Whoa! Forgive me. Okay, let's try that one again. If you have a brawler, or anyone who uses a fist, and you're not on a silenced geo panel, you don't actually have to kill the gatekeeper. All you have to do is move them off the exit panel there. Like so. Okay, so, uh... Let's see. You can survive. I could just throw someone onto the exit panel, but... Uh, not again. Yeah, I could just throw someone onto the base panel, but I'm not gonna, because that would take me a little while. So, let's just get you off the exit panel. Okay, I made this look a lot harder than it actually is, viewers, but... Oh, well. Get to the exit panel, you go to the next floor, you don't have to kill all the enemies, or anything like that. So... Sometimes you get really lucky, and the exit panel is, like, right next to the base panel. So that's pretty nice. So let's just move the guy there. I don't need to kill him. Just move him out of the way. And get on there. There's not always a gatekeeper on an exit panel, but if there is, just move him out of the way. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, why don't you just uh, lift them off the exit panel? Well, you can't do that. The game just does not let you move an enemy off the base panel like that. So, let's see, okay, I'd say four rogues ought to be good enough. If I have that many left after my other ones got killed, whoops, yeah, yeah, I kind of screwed that one up. Oh, well, better to have too many than too few, that's what I always say. Get my brawler there and just move the guy off the base panel. I suppose if you wanted to, you could just kill the guy, but, well, you never know. I mean, if they're really far away, it's kind of hard to judge that sort of thing. Hmm. Okay, just move you there. And move there. There we go. There we go. Now, let's see, what floor? Oh, let's get to the exit. What floor are we on there? One thing to keep in mind is that for each floor you go down into the item world, it levels up the item by one. So we want to get down to the tenth floor of the item world here. Let's see. Okay. Ah, I can't move him now. Nuts. I hate it when that happens because he's in a freaking corner. Ah, the corner. Ah, uh, that really annoys me. Okay, let's see what I can do here. 
And these guys are fairly decent level. Uh, you know what? Give me a moment, viewers, and I'll formulate a strategy for this one. Okay, I have an idea of what I want to do now. We're going to have to uh, go through this one the hard way. Maybe not killing all the enemies along the way, but uh, it is going to take a little while. Just like a normal battle would. So, uh, let's see. Can you get far enough? Yeah, you can. Hmm. Ah, oh, man, you're just a little too far away to use that, uh... Uh, I triburst, but oh well. You don't have that much HP. Let's see. You don't have that much fire resistance. You know what? Let's use, uh, rapid fire. Yeah! Alright! Go Nazgard! Let's see what else we can do here. I need a range attack to kill that guy. Uh, Flan, you're up. Oh, I don't even know if I can hit that far. Well, we do have the wind spell, but... Oh, I can. Okay, good. I've got a range of three now. That should count. Good, good. Okay. Now, I'm not going to try and kill all the enemies on here. That would be a waste of time. I'm only going to try and kill certain ones. And hopefully that cleric there doesn't know any real massive spells. Okay, good. Oh, we got two clerics. Uh, you've got a gun? Hmm. Okay, well, whatever works for you. I guess she has a gun, then. Not enough to necessitate an entire rack, but still. Alright. Uh, ooh, you took quite a bit of heat there from that last one, huh? Try and spread out a little, just in case the uh, cleric there gets any ideas. Let's uh, get up to about there, if I can. There we go. Ultimately, I do want to get to that zombie gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that the uh, was it the gatekeepers will never, yeah. ever, ever move off of that base panel there. Unless you move them for them, but you know what I mean. Mm, damn it. I wanted to get my brawler to get some healing there. Well, you know what? Let's do just that. Let's move my brawler in range. Here's a little trick you can do. And heal her up. Lord, give me strength. That'll heal her up. Cancel the movement. Now she can do her thing. Why don't you go up there and start go getting closer to that uh, zombie at the end there. I'm going to be doing some more item worlding in the game. Not too extensively. But when I do, it uh, well, I'll be doing it off screen. This is the only time... Well, maybe not the only time, but... One of the only times that I'm actually going to show you the item world. Because as you can see, it takes a while to get through there. Okay, I'm getting a little tired of this animation. <laughs> uh, man, it's taking me a while to get down there. What are you weak to, anyway? Ooh, ice. Nice. You can probably take care of that. Here I come. Finish him! Hmm, not quiet. Oh, well. Can, uh... You uh, heal us up again, there, Flan. That would be nice. Oh, I'm, am I out of range? No, I'm not. Okay, good. Oops, Normally, I try not to heal during battle because I'd like to uh, get those hospital rewards. But in this case, because it's going to be a while, I'm going to uh, heal during battle. And you kind of saw me hesitate to. Uh, use my ability with my uh, brawler there because my brawler is getting low on MP and I want her to be able to uh, use her abilities on a gatekeeper down the road. That's, well, let's uh, get that mage out of the way. There we go. Maybe kill one more. And hopefully my scout will be able to take out that zombie. 
Fortunately, they can't hit from range, so we should be in pretty good shape otherwise. How many enemies are there left anyway? Oh, there's only the two? You know, we might as well finish off all the enemies. Why not? Maybe get a little bonus reward or a bonus item or something. There we go. And finish. Hopefully most of the floors will not be this long. Ooh, another weapon. Nice. Okay, where's the exit? There we go. I can move him, I think. Yes, okay. So let's see. I think three ought to do. And let's go with four rogues this time. Just in case. Always better to overestimate how many uh, rogues you need to throw. What floor are we on? Sixth floor? Mm. Well, I'm going to make this a special lengthy episode today, or a feature length episode. Just so I can just uh, get through this in one episode here. So let's move you over there. Over there, over there, and over there. Okay, I guess I greatly overestimated the distance. So, let's get through there. And get to the exit there. Okay, three more floors to go. Hmm, I can't seem to find any specialists. Well, if I can't, well, I'll just do what I gotta do. Uh, move down there. I'm just going to kill this guy the old-fashioned way. The gatekeeper there. You got a spell? Huh. Never seen that before. Well, and... Oh. Man, I'm out of MP for everyone, huh? Alright, there we go. See, just uh, one row gotta do the job now. Just throw it uh, down there. There we go. Wow, that worked enormously better than I thought it would. Okay, let's look for the exit panel. There you are. Let's see, Lahara well, should be able to kill the guy. So let's just lift him up and throw him around. Well, I guess we're not gonna be finding any. Uh, specialists in here, but, well, the way it works is you find uh, an enemy in on the battlefield, and it'll say, check, which indicates, hey, there's a specialist on the battlefield, and it's just like the specialist you would have seen on the item itself, like an arms master, or... Uh, like a gladiator or whatever. And if you kill them or subdue them, as the technical term is, then you double their effect on the item and you can move the specialist to other items. So that's pretty nice. It's really good with arms masters. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to get them. Oh, come on. Be the arms master. Be the arms master. Ah. Man, it's just a teacher. Oh, well. Let's see what we got here. Oh, no way. Well, this is what is called an item general. Garage? <laughs> How appropriate, given the time I'm making this episode with uh, patch 5.3 or 4 coming out any day now. But anyway. Okay, so we're just going to go straight to the end. Uh, if you kill the item general up there, it will uh, increase the stats that you get from the item. But... Well, he's just way too powerful, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, also, you notice the first item on the bonus list on the 10th floor is a Mr. Jensi's exit. Uh, that's always the case for any item. The 10th item, or the first item on the bonus list is a Mr. Jensi's exit. And yes, we want to get the hell out of there. So yeah, you see we're leveling up the item for each floor that we went through. Now we have a level 10 item there. So, hooray! So if you wanted another Mr. Jensi's exit, you could have killed all the enemies there to do that, but, well, I didn't, because I didn't think, uh, I, I, I didn't think I was going to be able to win that. So, take your lumps, get out of there. 
So, we also could have uh, kept on going up to level 30 for a common item in the item world. Uh, rare items go up to level 60, legendary items go up to level 100 there. So, that's how uh, the item world works. If uh, I think I've covered just about everything with them, except like moving and combining specialists, but that's not really important until later. So, uh, if you have any other questions for me, let me know. I'm going to sell some equipment, get some new equipment ready to go, and then we'll try and find a way to get into that uh, palace there. Next time on Let's Play Disgaea! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!